Right guys, Gaft is back with the reveal to the time machine. There will be a link in the description to an eBay site where you can purchase what you need to purchase. Now, this is not going to be a build tutorial. This is going to be me um, deconstructing the gimmick so you can see what you need to do. This is the gimmick. The coin is right about here. So I'm going to show you the gimmick. This is a whole block of cards. This is the gimmick. It has a flap on the top and a special gimmick inside which you will need to purchase. It's called a click clack tin. If you push this tin down, it will stay down. And when you give it pressure, oh Jesus, it will pop back up. Let's get that back, what I've just lost. Oh geez, doesn't matter. We'll come back to that in a minute. So I'm gonna peel off the top. It doesn't matter that I'm destroying it, I can rebuild it. You are gonna need some super glue. You are going to need a rubber balloon. You're going to need a sharp knife. If I can get this top off. Bloody hell, I've stuck it down well. Ugh. Here we go. Right, take this off. We'll come back to the flap in a minute. We'll take this other layer off. So basically, I've got this click clack in. This is just a, a tin. This had a t some mints in it, but it's got one of these lids that pops down and pops back up again. I will leave a link in the description to where you can buy these tins from. The cheapest I found is £2.50 a tin. So this trick is going to cost you £2.50. But you've got to admit, it must have fooled some of you guys. So you've got your click clack tin. And then what I've done, that's come away. I have cut out a whole bunch of cards, which just about fits the click clack tin. Should be quite a snug fit. Enough that it's gonna come, you can put a cover card over the top. I did put all these bits in the bottom, but I don't think those these blocks are necessary. This is going to work without those. Well, maybe it won't work without them. No, you do need those in there. So you need these little blocks. Oh, I think I know what it's going to do. That, the bottom of the tin, is just going to sit on these little blocks. That's right. Because when it's sat on the little blocks, you've got enough pressure on this side that it will pop up. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to pop this tin up. Because that is sat on those little blocks now. So when you push on the sides, the tin will click up. So that's the click clack tin. You're just going to cut a whole bunch of cards out which will sit this inside. You will have a cover card over the top just to hold it snug inside. Now what flung off the top of there was a tiny bit of magnet. What I found was I needed to stick a tiny piece of magnet there so it would secure the coin. Because what happens is the coin can go out of position. When you're shuffling the cards the coin can go slightly out of position and it won't come through your little hole, your little flap. So we had a tiny piece of magnet so it would hold the coin in the same place so that I was able to shuffle the cards. And then I've just created a, a flap. Now you've seen me create these many times. This is basically just the trapdoor gimmick which you've seen me build many times. Let me peel this apart. I did stick all this down with super glue. In fact I've Bugged it all up. Right, there we go. You've just got a flap and basically this is a rubber balloon. You're gonna get a piece of rubber balloon. You're gonna stick the one end down with a bit of um, super glue on, on the flap. You're gonna stretch it and stick the other end down. So there's tension. So you've cut out your little hole, your little flap. You've stuck the balloon at the top and you've stuck it at the bottom. So basically the balloon creates a little spring loaded hinge. But from this side, I know I've damaged the card now, but you can still hardly see the flap. It is right here. Now the best way to cut out the flap, I'll show you. Let me get a little wooden block. When you cut out your hole, I would use a ruler generally, 
but don't cut uh, 90 degrees down. Put your knife on a slight angle. So you want to cut on the angle this way. You're going to turn the card round. You're going to cut on the same angle this way. And then you're going to turn it around and you're going to cut on the same angle this way. So always a knife is angled away from the centre. And then you'll turn it over and you will just literally score just through the paper layer and the cardboard layer of that card. So you will create a little flap like this. Now if you cut it on a slight angle, um, this um, cut will be practically invisible. What you will find is there's a bit of a burr on the top, you can feel that. So just get a ruler or something flat and you can iron out the burr. So now that is practically invisible, but you have created a little door which will open. And what you're going to do now, you're going to get your balloon with a bit of super glue. You're going to stick it just on the top here. Wait for that glue to go off. You're going to stretch a balloon down and stick it down here somewhere. Put in a nice bit of tension on it. Wait for the glue to go off. And be careful with this process because you can't let go of this card else it will want to fold like this. So be careful. And you will have created a little spring loaded door which the coin will easily fly through and then the door will instantly close. So you've got your click clacked in. You're going to have your cover card over the top of that. I oh, know this is all messy, look. You're then going to have your little door, your little flap over the top of that, which will open. If I can get to it. Oh, you've made a right mess of this gaffer, but this is just real life, isn't it? You'll have a tiny piece of magnet stuck on this click clack tin so that your coin does not move around inside when you're shuffling. So that will be covered like that. And when you click, the coin will fly up. So you see what I mean? It might go underneath like that. If you don't have the magnet, it might go underneath and it won't fly out. So that will be there. It will be covered by your flap. And when you click the sides, the coin will pop out. The flap will close instantly and jobs are good. So that is how you create the time machine. I do hope that tutorial was clear enough. I know, look at the state of this. This is a very messy tutorial gaffer. This isn't up to my usual standard. But I just thought it was easier to deconstruct the gimmick for you guys to see because this was a bit scruffy down the side here. So I'm going to make a better version. I'll probably make it out of bicycle cars now that I know it works. Like I say, there will be a link in description where you can get the click clacked in. And uh, that's it. Like once again, guys, thank you for all your support. It is fantastic. And the Gaft Academy family is getting stronger every day. So uh, comment, subscribe, like guys for more reveals and um, love you Ian. Cheers.